Oh, oh, humble. I thought I was uh, okay. Um, I already thought recording was on, but now I'm doubly confused. Um, okay, so we're going to add in this epiphenomenal observer process, use the model for the sake of reporting. They're going to live in Maine because they're going to report about the state of the model as a whole. And if you go to the palette, you can find find the mechanisms for pursuing these in the agent palette. And specifically, you go to that, you can find an event. It looks like a lightning bolt. So I'm going to add in this event. And it's going to be called, um, uh, let's say, uh, monthly reporting event. You could call it monthly reporting. It wouldn't be horrendous. But I will label it more over as event. Okay. Okay, um, there we go. And this is going to be, when, when we add in this, uh, this event, we have a choice. By default, it's occurring once, but, um, and, and that is done. And sometimes you do that for the model end, for example, or at the model beginning, if you want a certain pass, this is the elegant and more transparent way to, to undertake that. Um, but we're going to set it, uh, to instead of just being occurring once, we're going to make it cyclic. And it will stay a timeout event. Really what that means is, is it's going to occur at a certain defined fixed frequency. So be, guess what? How often do you think it'll be occurring? Every, the recurrence time will be what? What do you think from its name? Monthly. Once a month. And its first occurrence will be at time zero, zero years. Okay. This is an observer event. We're doing this in any logic, but it's a general feature of these systems. And it's going to report on some characteristics of this model. Suppose we wanted it to report on the prevalence and prevalent case count for number of people with heart disease and and then for current smokers uh, you know of smoking of, of, of active smoking um so we want to be able to print out these quantities where would we calculate these quantities where would we figure out what, what is the count of people who are smokers? What's the fraction of people who are smokers? Where do you think we do that? We saw it yesterday. His name was written just about here in Larissa's artistic hand. Where would we, where would we calculate things like that? Statistics, where does statistics live? Calculated for a population. That's exactly right. right. They're calculated, ladies and gentlemen, for a population. So let's go repair to the population and let's add some statistics, if we may. Um, so we're going to add um, uh, smoking, prevalent. Case count. You could say count smokers. Maybe we'll we'll just do that. Count smokers. Count current smokers. Be a little bit more specific. And what do you think sort of thing will this be? Will it be a max, a min, an average, a sum, or perhaps a count? Indeed. Okay. And what are we going to count? The number of people that are what? Exactly. And remember the way the statistics work. It's going to go through each person in the population, and it's going to figure out, does this person count towards the statistic? Does that person count towards the statistic? So it needs to refer to each person. We're going to set up a criteria. So we're going to have a, a predicate, a thing that determines, does that person get counted for this statistic or not? And how are we going to refer? So who should be counted for this count? We're counting the number of people who are what? 
Kurt Smoker's gone, right. And, and so how do we refer to the person? Does anyone remember? There's a little light bulb here and it tells you, what is it? Item, yeah, exactly. Not meti, okay, like cool. Um, okay, item, right? Okay, item dot, and we're going to ask the number that are uh, in a certain state, right? So, so we're going to ask item dot is state active and ask, is that person in a certain state? Okay. Now, what state would they be in that we want to count? What state is that? Current smoker. We want to count the number of people for whom this is their active state with respect to the smoking state trade. Okay. Now, if we said current smoker, okay, um, you'll actually find problems. If I said current smoker and I tried to build, it will be an unhappy camper. It says it cannot be resolved to a variable. You know, why is that? It's because it doesn't know where it is. It doesn't know. Maybe you have, you know, boggles the imagination. Maybe you have smoking doctors as well. You have persons who are smokers and doctors who are smokers. Um, so you actually have to say person dot current smoker. That's that's the brutal reality there. And um, oh, uh, okay. Um, do, 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 do. Um, that is that is interesting. Um, okay. So Wade, um, uh, help. Oh, in. I'm sorry. In state. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I thought it was is state active, but. Um, it used to be a state active. Oh, it, you know what? It's for the health state chart. You can ask the state chart itself, is the state active? But if you just want to ask, are they in the state use? Yes, that's it. You can, there's actually, you can say to the state chart, like, hey, is this state active? And that's where you need to go. Okay, as I am the sole example. Okay, so uh, it's um, in state. There we go. Ready? Um, Okay, and we will now run it. Let's let's go run this thing, can we? So build. Who needs who needs help? What's that? Yeah, yeah. Um. So um, first we have the. I'm oh, sorry. Yes, we have this this uh, statistic. Yeah. And. There. So this is current smoker in person as a whole. It's like, look, there are doctors involved, but I'm like, because of doctors, that doctors, you could have doctors who are current smokers. Um, um, and, and this allows you to distinguish it's the current smoker for person. And you're asking, is this particular person, that's item in this state? Okay. Okay. We okay with this? Okay. So let's run it. And we haven't finished the thought yet, but we're getting there and we've gotten far enough that we've got a chunk that we've undertaken. And this chunk will be useful already. If, where do we go to see the statistics here? Can anyone tell me? Where are the statistics? Yeah, they're in the population. And you can see it right here. See that? Yeah. Um, so right now it's saying there's, there's 56, 57 smokers. You notice that's actually updating it over time. You see that? 53, 52, 46, 40, you see that? Yeah, okay. Um, 
So um, it's working. And now for the monthly reporting event, we're gonna print that out. You ready to do that? Ready or not, here we come, okay? So um, we're gonna say trace LN. Mm -hmm. um, you know, um, uh, current smokers, um, uh, uh, current smokers colon, and um, I'm going to say plus, that means put it next to in a, in a string, and I'm going to ask for that statistic. Po this dot population, I'm being a bit pedantic here, but I, I may not want to make a point. This dot population dot, and then we'll say count smokers. There we go. And we print it out and we have a semicolon at the end. And I will put that right here. And I will shrink this down. Do, 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 do. Boom. Um, um, there we go. Okay, there we go. It, it looks like that. So we're taking this string and then we're putting it next to this. And this, this, this uh, began begin parentheses, uh, left parentheses, right parentheses, um, or begin in parentheses. That's just because count current smokers doesn't need anything to do its job. Um, it's not like the sine function, which needs an angle. It doesn't need an And we need a semicolon because it's saying, do this, print this out, print it out. That's what the trace LN does. Are we okay with this? Okay, who needs, who needs help? Let's run it. Can we run it? Can, cannot. Okay. Um, hearing no objections, can. Okay. And um, we've still got this thing with radius 10 going on, but um, uh, you notice that it's, uh, I'm speeding this up and here it is. It's printing out the current smokers. Do you see that? Okay. But let's do something better than that. I'm going to create a data set that's going to accumulate this information as well. Okay, so we're, we're printing it out, and that's great. But if we really want, want, want to export it, we can do much better than that. So let's go to the palette and let's go look at uh, a, uh, an element here. So specifically, we're going to go put it in and take in a data set, and it's going to be in this analysis area here. It's going to be a data set. There we go. You ready for that? This is going to be, you know, count. So current smokers data set. Where did I, what did I do to get that? I went to the palette. Where, where did I, whither did I go in the palette? I went to analysis. Following going the analysis, I dragged in a data set. I dragged it in there and I, I placed it here. The data set, I called it current smokers data set. Are we okay with that? Hearing no objections. I'm going to press on, follow on. So what we need to fill in here, there's a bunch of stuff going on, but we need to fill in this vertical axis value, okay? Um, the vertical axis value. And, uh, and specifically, we are going to uh, place here uh, that same thing that we, we put just before. So it's going to be this dot population dot count smokers. All we're doing is we're calling, what is this thing? Does anyone recognize this name? What is this? What is this we're requesting from population? It's the what? Name of a statistic that we defined. Not five minutes thence, we defined in population a statistic called count current smokers. You may recall this. It's, it stands before us even now. Do you see that? So that's what we defined. Population knows how to calculate this. We actually ran the model and saw it calculating it. And this data set requests that information and places this in, into this data set. Is that okay? 
Okay. Now, we're going to put for this monthly reporting event, we're going to add it into this data set. The truth is we could actually say update it, and we could say update it every month. This is also a possibility. Yes, question. Uh, uh, oh, you mean uh, post it? Um, uh, sure. Um, so this one? No? No? Again, no semicolon because we're not telling it to do something. This is how you calculate the value. This is a formula. So it's calculating the value. So it's no semicolon. Semicolon to use when you tell it, do this, send this message, print this out, delete this agent, add this agent. That's when we need semicolons. Okay. 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 So um, I was showing here we can either update the data automatically or not. Maybe we'll do update data automatically. Okay. We'll update it every one month, if we could. There we go. Okay. We're updating this data every month. Do you see that? So this data set knows how to grab its value, what it needs to compute, and it's set to update every month. Now we could have alternatively said, don't update automatically, we'll update you. And we could have done that in that reporting event. That would be even more common option, but let's run this. What do you think we'll see over time? Well, that, that um, will be updated. Now we had set it to be very, very slow. And so I'm going to, um, I'm going to speed it up, but notice it says current smokers. And if I went and I looked at this and I could see there's this data set, you can see it's actually recording it. for different times it's recording. And in fact, you could see that it's monthly um, here. You could see that it's calculating these things monthly. I don't know if you could see that, but you'll notice on the upper right of this thing, there's a little copy thing. Do you see that here? If you press that, it'll make a copy of it, okay? Um, and, and this will actually allow you to paste it into Excel. So you could go call up Excel on your computers. I think that should be on there. Um, and Microsoft Office uh, Mumble um, is, is Office here. Um, uh, uh, Mumble, maybe, maybe is Excel not here? Excel is, where is Excel? Can anyone find me, find it, find it here? I would have thought maybe it's under Excel. Um, oh, there it is, it's under E on my computer, Excel. Um, I would have thought it would have been under Office. No, do I wanna take, no, no. Um, fine, and I'll go and I create a new spreadsheet in, oh no, I just, I just overwrote it here. I just want to do this again. Boom. Um, there it is. So it's it's exported there. Okay. We exported the feed. We could go. We could go. You know, grab it out if we wanted to do so. Um, here, if you go insert a um, a chart, um, and we could do it as in. There was scatter plot. There we go. Um, showing the number of smokers over time. Great. Um, uh, we could also do this, of course, for heart disease, right? Um, so, how do we do this for heart disease? Can anyone say? What would we need to do for heart disease? Could anyone opine? Um, yeah, so we'd have to create a statistic um, 
and that statistic would be called like count um, uh, heart heart disease. Um, uh, uh, it's it's a little bit blunt as a name. Um, we could say heart disease prevalent case count, but I think I'll just leave it as count heart disease. Okay, fine. And what would our condition be here? What's our condition? You got it. You got it. You got it. Heart disease, boom. And do we need a semicolon? No, because it's just asking, is this true? It's a value, We're not telling it do something. Okay, so that's step one. We've added that into the, as a statistic. I'll put it up on the big screen. What's step two? Add it to the data set or add a data set that accumulates it. Yeah. We could actually do either, but when you have a data set, um, by default, they record one type of value plus time. So you may have noticed when we were running that model, in fact, you could see it in the, in the Excel sheet. It, this is the time over here, the current time of the model. And um, you may notice it's, it's doing it every one month. Um, uh, this is you know 12 years, 12, 12 year, one month, two month, three month, four month, et cetera. So ladies and gentlemen, um, we're going to do something similar here. We have count heart disease here. And uh, I'm going to go and add another, another data set. Now, I'll tell you a trick. This is a trick I like to use a lot. And it saves me some considerable time. Rather than going and adding a new data set and configuring it to do monthly and so on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this and I'm going to copy control C or whatever it is on a Mac. And I'm gonna do control V and, and then I'll move it around with the arrow keys. And so I'm gonna make this current heart disease. Oop, heart, heart disease data set, disease data set. And I've already configured it go off every one month and I'll just do instead of count current smokers what should this be count count yeah count heart disease yeah that's all that's all okay that's great by the way you notice that by default it says use time as horizontal value if if you don't want need time you could put pairs of these in here that is useful sometimes like for state stage space plots but but right now we're using time as the horizontal value. This is going off every one month. Let's run it. Here we go. There we go. We are putting it here and and we are going to go and speed it up. And here we have the heart disease. So there's zero heart disease initially. Do you see that? Now there's one person with heart disease. Two people. Why is it just going up over time? Can anyone say? Why why would it just be rising? The other one was kind of leaping around after a while. Why is this one rising? Yeah, you, you're not going to get rid of it. That's right, except via death, unfortunately. And it's going to you know rise because it's kind of accumulating with slow depletion. Yeah, it's it's not quite an absorbing state, but it's close to it. Uh, I say not quite because there is death from from that. But um, but essentially, yes, it's a it's a, you know, a a sink, an absorbing state, except for a slow death process. Um, so you know, current smokers jumps around, but heart disease is building up over time. Do you see that? Okay. So um, this is this is good. Um, now. Um, time is of the essence, and we're approaching four o'clock here. Um, and I, I really want to ensure time for incubators uh, this afternoon. Um, so I'm, I'm sort of 
marshaling my remaining time here. Um, and I want to thank uh, realistically, yes, Larissa. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we could have collected both those variables at once. So let's, um, but we wouldn't have gotten time in that. That's the thing. So the deal is that, uh, so the question was, you know, can you uh, create a data set collects multiple variables at once? You can. Um, if we had wanted, and I'll copy it down here now, if we had said, you know, current indicators data set, something like that, we don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it and I'm going to post this. Um, and we eliminate time as the horizontal value. So we're, the first thing, the second thing we're going to have is, is heart disease, but I'm going to copy for the first thing, the kind of current smokers. And then we're going to have current smokers and heart disease next to each other in this data set. And we could run it. And what we will see in this data set is um, pairs of heart disease and current smokers uh, at the same time. Okay, the population died. I wasn't the right thing. It's kind of, or is it John Maynard Keynes, whatever. Um, so um, we, don't, we don't want that. We want to reset and we want to go slower. Um, we don't want to go that quickly. Um, but here we can, we can create this and we can speed it up. And there we have a uh, number of current smokers and heart disease next to each other. So yes, you can accumulate them in pairs quite readily. Um, if you want to do something more fancy, there are certainly ways to do it. Um, but data sets are set to record either time and certain variable or pairs of other variables. Uh, at the at the same time, without time being included. So uh, hopefully that's uh, that's helpful. Let's set up a graph with this. Can we do that? Let's let's set up a graph. Shall we not? Okay. Uh, so, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to save this model, and I'm going to post it for anyone who's um, seeking help. Um, you can get it post haste. So here we go. And there's tobacco use, social tobacco use. It is now posted if anyone would like it. Okay. So um, let's go add in a visual. So I'm going to add in a time plot. There we go. And um, how did I do that? Sorry, I, I I moved too quickly. I went to palette. I went down to analysis and I dragged in time plot. Okay. I dragged in a time plot. Do you see that? Okay. Um, and uh, by dragging that in, I, I had a, you know, um, uh, we're going to do um, uh, health indicators time plot, okay? That's what we're going to call it. Health indicators time plot. Are we okay with that? Okay. And we can either specify a value to plot or we can specify a data set to plot. We can do either one. Um, Either one is fine. Um, uh, so maybe I'll say this will be current smokers. And maybe we'll exercise, we could plot the data set. There we go. In which case we just put the data set. Um, current smokers data set. It's easy enough. And we'll add another one here for, for heart disease prevalent case count, number of people with heart disease. This too will be a data set and the data set will be current heart disease data set, okay? Oh, there we go. So what did I do here? 
I said that both plot out a data set and I gave it the names of the data set. Are we okay with that? Okay, so let's run it. Let's run it. Oh, oh, it has a it has an unhappy thing. It said current smokers data could not be found. By the way, notice what I did. I, I tried to build it. It was unhappy. It told it gave me a red message down there. And um uh so uh I went and I clicked on this and I saw the problems window. I double clicked on this, it brought me to where it is. It says, I don't know what this is. Current smokers data. What have I left out? Can anyone tell me? I indeed I left out set and it is persnickety. Um, so then I, I fix that, I press build and it's a happy camper. Can you see how happy it is? It's almost like it has a smile on its face. Okay, so having built it, I'm gonna run it and we're going to see um, now the object, the fruits of our labor, okay? So I'm gonna speed it up um, because it's on a, by default, a rather slow trajectory and there we go. Here's heart disease and and uh, and uh, number of people who are current smokers. But you'll notice that they look a little bit odd. Um, it reminds me of a game I called Snake, which I programmed up in, in high school. Um, and, and then put into a subway line and then like a snake had a hat. Um, so um, this is running, this is not showing the entire graph because we have a limit on the number of elements that are being shown. And that's a lesson I wanted to teach you. So here we go. Okay, so there's two things at issue here, two or three things. First of all, the data sets are only holding a hundred values right now. That is needlessly frugal. It really, that's not gonna be the bottleneck. I'm gonna allow them to hold a voluminous set of data, okay? I'm gonna allow them to hold a thousand months of data. Gosh, it could be 10,000 without it straining. Um, and I'll do this for all of them. So this keep up to this many samples, often it is needlessly frugal in its, what it keeps around. That's point one, okay? What did I do? I went to the data sets and I changed it to keep a thousand samples for each. Are we okay with that? Secondly, ladies and gentlemen, secondly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, first of all, let's run that and let's see, because surely uh, that could have been part of this problem, but the problem probably derived also from an issue with the graph. So let's go run that, see how that affected things, and, and then we can plot our course. So I'm going to run it, um, and uh, here we go. And it's going to be adding to this and you can see it running and it looks much healthier now, if I might suggest. What's going on now? Can anyone give a story for what's going on? Like, why is it going down? People are dying. And in fact, you could see the ones that survived, who are the ones that survived here? Never smokers, never smokers who are also Well, okay, yeah, this is interesting. This one is, yeah, this this one is interesting. It's, okay, that, that's interesting. It's a lucky smoker, but this is a, a friendless, um, never smoker. That's a friendless recovered. This is a friendless, never smoker. So some 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 folks who are still smokers uh, have survived, um, but this is going down over time and the number of, of um, uh, the number of smokers reflects that, as does the um, the number of people with heart disease. But notice, every, even so, it's kind of scrolling out, right? So what we want to do is we want to go to this, and we want to set it for, there's, there's two things here. There's the data update, and you can say, hey, I want to display up to a thousand latest samples. Sometimes you also want to pay attention to the time scale, like 
the time window, how many model time units do you want to plot? I'll just say 100, okay? Um, so this is the number of samples. Um, this is nothing terribly deep. This is more any logic specific. So, you know, I, I, don't, I don't, want, don't want to act like this is um, a very deep thing about agent-based modeling, but it's a good thing if you're going to prob around with some of the example models to kind of know what's going on. And, and here we are, have it plotting up. And I might add that in this plot, you know, we're, we're plotting several things. And in the plot, if we right click on the, up here, we can copy the contents of the plot, mm -hmm. copy that. And we can go and we could paste that into, for example, Excel here. Mm -hmm. um, and we'll have, you know, the reporting as contained in the plot there as well. So that's also something you can do. You can, you could sort of, take the data from the plot and you can plot it out in ways that are useful to export. These are not the main ways we export. I'm showing you some ad hoc ways we can export, but they're handy to know about. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, there was just a question in the chat about can you collect data on more than one thing at once? So I kind of in a, in a kind of a bit of a, you know, a flourish, I just created that. All I did, wait, or all I did, Bryce, is I copied one of these guys and pasted it, and I changed it to not use time as horizontal value, and I put in the current smokers as the first thing and the heart disease as the second. Okay? Okay. Great. Okay. Um, uh, so time is is uh, running down. I I'm, I want to take a, a vote, and I would welcome online participants now. Um, uh, in about ten minutes, I could add in um, I could add in a mechanism that would record something about longitudinal history. Let's say um, the uh, the number of times someone has relapsed into smoking. Um, in about 15 minutes, I could put something in that would record the number of years cumulatively that person has been smoking, regardless of you know, whether it was first and then they quit and you know, they, they were smoking for a year, quit for a year, smoked again for a year, it'll be two years um, that they were smoking, because first year before and then. Um, that would take about 15 minutes. Um, another thing I could do alternatively would be I could make their chance of relapse, starting smoking again, go down based on how long they've been quit. So if they've been quit for a long time, their chance of relapsing on a per month basis would be markedly lower than during the first month quit. So the longer they stay quit, the more likely they are to be able to stay quit. I could do that. That would take probably on the order of 15 minutes. I want to show of hands. Um, so how many people, and, and the final option is we just break right now for incubator projects. Um, so uh, how many people right now would want to see this uh, phenomenon of recording longitudinal data um, such as uh, the number of times that people have uh, have have uh, been have have uh, relapsed into smoking. How many people would like to see that? No one. Um, okay. How many people? By the way, you can vote more than once if you want. Okay. Okay. Um, how many people would like to see this one where you want to record? You want to see how much cumulative time has someone spent smoking? you know, at any point, even if they've fallen back into to, to relapse. How many people like to see that? Okay. Uh, okay, I got three, four, five. Okay, great. And how many people would like to see this uh, one where, and by the way, I'm looking online too. I'm, I'm not seeing anyone voting. Um, but uh, the final one is, how many people would prefer to see this one where someone's propensity to relapse 
uh, is lower based if they've already stayed quit for longer. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you're likely going. Right. Five, a six, six. Okay. Okay, well, it sounds like the latter one has it. Okay. Um, uh, that's that's uh, good. Uh, so um, just thinking in my mind how I do it, I could probably fold in the first of them along the way. So, so let's try this. So I'm going to call this version five. It's going to be posted. And we're going to jump into this. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Version five is posted, and we're going to hit the ground running for this. You ready? Okay. So what we need to do is we need to make them less and less likely to relapse based on how long they've been quit. Mm -hmm. um, this general principle you could imagine is holding over if um, you wanna relate, uh, for example, they're likely to quitting to how long they've been a smoker, for example. Maybe during the first month someone's a smoker, it's easier to quit. But maybe if they've been smoking a couple months, it's harder to quit. So this, this whole principle could hold over. And, and it also has to do with this longitudinal history idea, right? We have some history. Okay. Um, so maybe I'm wondering, maybe I should stop this video and, and start a new video um, because it might be kind of nice to, um, uh, to, to be able to show this. Now, what, what's going on here? Where's my window? Sorry, um, where's my Zoom? Uh, is, sorry, I, something's, who's, who's watching Zoom? Am I still on Zoom? Yes, is, yes I am. There's something weird going on with Zoom, but I guess, I guess it's okay. Um, okay, now now the screen sharing is back. Okay, fine. I, I, I don't know, Zoom kind of flaked out at one point. Okay, I'm gonna stop, stop this and we are going to, um,